I'm in the process of updating my website with the Forex strategies. Uh, you can see here Forex, um, and you can see the list of Forex strategies. Euro Surge, EVP123, EV2 Forex, Cobra, and FX Chopper. And we've mainly focused on the, the these first four. We've got to add Euro Gap for the FX. And so taking a look at Euro Gap for the FX, that will be on there shortly. Uh, I want to show you the money management algorithms for the Euro Gap. Here is the strategy uh, in its base version using 100K lots and a $500 stop loss. Uh, you see here is the equity curve. It's had two losers in a row. Uh, the futures have had three losers in a row, and I want to talk more about that in a second. Uh, but you see the base strategy, uh, 65.75 drawdown. Uh, here's the equity curve. It's pretty good since this time frame, uh, but you know a little bit choppy from the beginning of five years back. Uh, what happens if we put a money management algorithm on this with the moving average? And I'm going to click on this window over here on the right, and you can, you'll be able to see this update. And I want you to notice the drawdown goes down and the average trade profit goes up, as well as the total net profit. And so if we click over here, I'm going to pull that window back in. Uh, the average net profit goes up. Uh, again, we're trading 100K lots, and the drawdown drops by about $4,000. Uh, the average trade profit doubles. And so this is just basically the uh, moving average money management algorithm. And if you format that, we'll take a look at the results. It's rule number one. And we just use the basic 20 and 40. I haven't even optimized that or run the optimization on that. Uh, but the, the Euro gap is just a basic gap strategy. And sometimes gaps work, work and sometimes they don't. And this looks at the moving average of it. Um, and you can see see the inputs for this. Um, I want to show you the results on the futures. This is the FX. Euro USD is the symbol. Here is the results on the futures. And again, the futures is equivalent to trading. One co futures contract is equivalent to trading 125K lot. The results are a little bit better on the base system over here on the left. And you see 31,375. Again, no slippage or commission in any of this. I want to look at the raw data and the average net profit, the raw data. Uh, 43,37,50 drawdown, 81,49 average trade profit. And here's the equity curve, uh, better than the 4X. And when we click on the, on the right, same money management algorithm on a one-minute chart. And you see $90. It goes up a little bit. Uh, the drawdown goes down a little bit and you see better results and here is the equity curve and so we can improve strategies with the moving average a base strategy with the moving average of the equity curve and you see this little drawdown here so next thing i want to talk about is in the futures we've had three losers in a row and so um this thing's just kind of been beaten down we, we have a tight profit target on this uh but it's just gap down gap down gap down it hadn't really gone up, even though the euro has been strong lately three days in a row. Um, how often does this happen in this strategy going back five years? You can look at the trade analysis chart, and you can see that this has only happened uh, three losers in a row five times has happened. Four losers in a row has only happened once. And so it's rare that you see this many losers in a row in this strategy. So pretty good odds that the next trade could be a winner but there are no guarantees and so don't ever bet the ranch on anything like this um, but what happens if we we test that in the money management algorithms we can test that that's another thing we can test what happens if you change the consecutive losers uh, we take that rule off set it to zero and we go down to the consecutive losers algorithm and set that to one to turn it on when I was doing this I put that at three and it didn't really change the results and so you got to make sure these are ones or zeros one means it's on zero means it's off and then you go down here to the input and say it's three consecutive losers in a row and so let's see what the results are for this I'm going to wait for it to update okay here are the results it's four out of five and basically what this does is it waits for three losers in a row and then it trades for a winner and it also has to get in at the original entry price or better and so um, you see 80% profitable, 
uh, but it doesn't generate many trades. So it's not a over five years you don't want to trade uh, just this strategy. Um, so because you'd only generate five trades in five years, and so it's pretty pretty um, low frequency. Um, one on the long side and four on the short side, and so that's how you use the consecutive uh, losers algorithm on a strategy like this. Even though uh, you might not want to generate generate that many trades, and so what happens if we change this to two consecutive losers in a row? Then you generate more trades, 31 trades, 77% um, profitable, uh, five uh, just a low drawdown. And so there's the equity curve going back five years. Still very few trades. Now I'm going to go back and change the input to one consecutive loser in a row. And then we'll take a look at the results. Change that right here. And I'll pause the video and wait for it to update. If one consecutive loser is in a row, you see how great, um, how great the re results are. Nice average trade profit. Uh, still a low drawdown, 71% profitable. So when you trade the euro gap, you know using the the um, uh, consecutive losers, wait for one loser in a row, and then trade until you have one winner. Generates 126 trades in the last five years. Not bad, not bad results. Nice equity curve. And so um, these money management algorithms, uh, you, there's a lot you can do with them. There's 13 different rules. You spend a lot of time just on one system, developing it, looking at trade analysis, looking at moving averages. Um, there's so much you can do. And so I just wanted to show you, there's been a lot of questions on Forex. There's been questions on money management algorithms. And I'll be talking more about this in, in videos. And this is a long video. You can consider it a mini webinar video. And so that's the, that's the update on the money management algorithms, how to trade them, how to trade the Forex.